I have no context for any of these recordings. I just listen to them and write down what I hear. The agency I work for, a very upscale, private, and off-the-books agency, provides transcription services for the government. We create a written record of things that have to be destroyed, so that the content can still be referenced if the need arises. Uh, most of the time we just transcribe notes from meetings, clandestine recordings of conversation between parties that are <laughs> less than reputable, or personal notes from the sciency types who are working on very, very interesting things. <laughs> I mean, really, anything you can imagine comes through here. Just name it. I've probably transcribed it. Now, we guarantee that the information we record will never see the light of day, which as you can imagine, is really damn important. So all of us little typewriters have to be squeaky clean, not so much as a parking ticket on our records. They want us to be underachievers, uh, people who slip through the cracks that neither fail or succeed. Just the average guy who could vanish tomorrow without a trace, without so much as a single question. That's important. Uh, we've had a few leaks in recent years, and a few people I knew personally are now on extended vacations. So it, it goes without saying that I'm taking a giant risk doing this. Why do it, then? Because I want to expose the truth? Because I'm tired of all the bullshit that gets thrown at me, and I want to oust some nasty people who, by all rights, deserve it? Unfortunately, it's much more selfish, less glamorous than that. I've had an opiate addiction for years. I broke my back in a freak accident when I was younger. And I've been in pain ever since. I got addicted to painkillers, oxy specifically. And the things, uh, things have sort of spiraled <laughs> down from there. So I guess the easiest way to describe it is to, to just say I'm a suicidal coward. I don't have the balls or the ability to do anything about it myself, but I'm, I'm damn tired of things. I'd love to do something about it, even if I had the courage. I can't ever leave this job. You sign what is quite literally a lifetime contract. If I were to try and buy a gun, I'd be thrown in jail. They take workplace safety almost too seriously. And yes, I'm quite aware that there are more ways than shooting oneself to commit suicide. But like I said, I'm a coward. And frankly, if I screw up, the consequences for trying to get out of this contract are far worse than what little I've got now. I'll have my public name destroyed. Any chance of a normal life would be gone. And there are much less pleasant places than jail they can send me to, believe me. So it's easier to just leak a little information here and there, and wait for the hammer to fall. One night I'll go to sleep, and the next I'll be another statistic. Another victim of senseless gun violence here in America. How sad. And to address the obvious question I'm sure everyone will be asking, it was the money. I make an absolutely disgusting salary, which I'd enjoy if I were able to. But the addiction kind of ruins it. Contrary to what most people who are on the poor side think, financial stability doesn't equate to happiness. Especially when you can't spend it on huge, loud luxuries that would make you stick out. But, like a lot of poor people who get high paying jobs, when I joined, I figured the money would fix things. Like a lot of really shitty decisions. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Anyway. Um, one of my recent projects has been to transcribe some 911 calls that are best left out of public scrutiny. Uh, the agency that hired us to transcribe and then destroy the tapes doesn't want the public to panic. I figured you guys might be interested in a few of those tapes. Uh, this is the first one. 911, what city are you located in? Uh, sisters. Transfer. Okay. 911, what's the nature of your emergency? Yeah, I, 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 I've got someone out here. 
Sounds like they're they're beating something to death. And this is on your property? Yeah, I I, I I've got about ten acres back in the woods out here. And, Jesus, can you hear that? Are you in any immediate danger, sir? No, no. I I just I just want someone to come out here and check it out. What is your name, sir? Uh, David Shale. How do you spell that? S H A L E. Looking. Can you get someone out here quick? Because whatever this guy's doing out here, he's 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 really hurting something. You can you, you can hear that, right? What's your address, Mr. Shea? Uh, three hundred six Juniper. Okay, I'm sending a unit out to your location, but you're out pretty far, so it's gonna take them about fifteen minutes to get to you. You said you're not in any danger. No. No, oh, I'm fine. I've got a rifle in the house. Okay, can you describe to me what the situation is? Well, about ten minutes ago, uh, I was in the living room and I started hearing the sound over the TV, so I turned it off and went out here on the deck. I thought I heard a guy talking somewhere past the edge of the yard, but I don't have lights out there, so I, 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 I couldn't really see anything. Then I, I heard this big thud. And now it sounds like there's a dog or a coyote out there that's that's getting beat to death. You can't hear it? No, sir. So you said it's been going on about ten minutes? Well, no, the howling has been going on about, about five, but... Are you there, David? Sir, are you there? Yeah. David? Is everything all what right? What did you say? Those guys are going to be out there? The officer is on his way now. Is everything um, alright? Yeah, everything's... Sir, what's going on? Tell me what's going oh, on. It's just... Eh. No, it, it's fine, it's just... Fuck, I can't see anything now. Let's stop. I think there's a guy in here. I can't, I can't tell. Sir, Hold on, I'm gonna sir, turn on my I'm phone flashlight thing approach. here for a sec. Uh, don't approach them, okay? Sir, are you there? What's going on? What shit? Jesus, it, there, there's a guy out there. You need to get someone out here quick, or I'm gonna get my rifle. Hey, this is private property. I've got the cops coming. You better leave. The police are on their way, but you need to go back inside, sir. Don't do Damn, she's... You may want to send an ambulance out here or something. This guy's really fucked up. What's going on with him? Well, well, he's, he, he looks like he's been in an accident or something. Like, his skin's all... Oh. Sir... Uh, yeah, right? yeah, I'm okay, I'm... Holy shit, do you hear that? The t Holy what's shit! What's that? Well, what's he, he, that he is, he, he, he's just, he's standing there with his mouth open, he's just screaming. Holy shit, I've never... What was that, sir? I, uh, I went back in, he, uh, I, I'm inside. He's he's still out there, just howling and looking at me. He's got no clothes. I, I don't I don't think I, I I can't tell for sure. Is he bleeding? No, he's not. He's not bleeding, but there's something wrong with him. It's not right. I I, I can't really tell. Is he armed? No, I don't think so. Holy shit! Did you hear, did you hear that? Yes. The police are about ten minutes away, so just hang tight with me, okay? Stay on the line. They're, they're almost there. Okay. Sir? I'm, I'm just... I need flashlights so I can shine out the door. I, I can't see him anymore. Sir, what's going on? Motherfucker! Unit 9, can I get an update on location? Sir, the unit is only three minutes from you. Is he trying to break in? No, he's still at the edge of, of the yard! But I, but I shine my light on him and he's got... You need to send someone out here because there's something wrong with him. There's, what do you mean? I need you to calm down and talk to me. But tell me what's going there's on. There's something wrong, wrong with his skin. It's like, it's, it's not even skin. It's, it's like... 
I swear, they're, 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 they got their fingernails like thousands of them. Get out of here! The cops are coming! You, you gotta. Fuck! Fuck! The police are there. They're outside. Oh, thank God I can see the car. Oh. He's running! He's running back into the woods! Out back! He's, he's heading to the woods! Yeah, yeah! Right on, right out there! Shit! Fuck! Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? I wish I had some context around it, but of course, that's impossible. Either way, there's a lot more where that came from. Assuming I'm alive in the coming days, maybe I'll post more. I guess we'll have to see, won't we? <laughs>